Pat Farwell with St. Francis head football coach Chris Valerio. The Red Flash are 1-3, and three, and they come back home to host West Virginia Wesleyan out of Buckhannon, West Virginia, for a game on Saturday at 4 p.m. It's a whiteout game, fans, so don your white on Saturday afternoon. SFU coming off a second straight game against a Colonial Athletic Association team and a second near upset of a CAA program, a 35-28 loss at Albany last Saturday night. Chris, uh, the team executed uh, again, similarly to Richmond, on a lot of facets, a few mistakes, and and that score's flipped, and and SFU comes out on top. Yeah, I think we gave tremendous effort. I thought our effort was great. I thought our attitude going into the game was great. Our prep, oh, we had a great week of preparation. Um, guys were ready. We were prepared for this game. Um, unfortunately, we made uh, mistakes at critical times, and, and that comes back to haunt you in them tight games. Uh, it's kind of been the same scenario uh, in the three losses. So um, we're still identifying the issues. We're, we're, you know, we're working hard to correct these issues because um, you know we have a hungry team coming in here in West, Virgi West Virginia Wesleyan. Uh, they're looking, they're looking to upright. Uh, their program, um, so obviously they're going to be taking this as a, uh, a big time game for them, um, and we're we're trying to get back on track. So this is a, a pivotal game, um, and it's going to be a, it's going to be a fun game out here. Obviously, it's a whiteout, so uh, looking forward to a great crowd and and uh, great great time. So uh, you know we're going to we're going to prepare hard. Uh, the guys have been started. We came in Sunday. Uh, guys started preparing, and uh, we're looking forward to a, a great game on uh, on Saturday uh, evening. So. The defense held the first three opponents' fans to below 300 yards. The Danes had some big plays, as Chris mentioned. They ended up uh, with 503 yards of total offense. A lot of that was on those big plays. If you're able to make that first tackle and, and, and stop uh, the yards after catch, then that number's a lot smaller. Yeah, if you look, uh, you know, we generated two turnovers. Um, and if you look at time of possession, we, we, we held that pretty strong, too. Uh, unfortunately, we gave up the big plays, um, and that's what happens in them scenarios. You know, a big run, uh, two big catches, uh, busted coverage, um, and, and them types of things happen. And we were able to respond offensively, which was very good. But um, you know, at some point, we got to be able to uh, come up with that big stop. Again, we had two turnovers, um, but we just didn't uh, come together when we needed to. So. Um, guys, you know, we watched the film collectively as, as a team and, and showed the guys where these mental breakdowns are happening and what it's costing us. So um, hopefully we're going to have a better week of concentration and throughout the rest of the year because that's what's going to take for us to be able to turn this thing around. All right, let's look at Wesley and fans. They're 0-4. They lost 42-10 last week at Urbana University in Ohio. They're a member of the Mountain East Conference. They can score. In their first three games, they scored 30-plus in each of them, and their quarterback's been pretty good. He's a redshirt senior. Uh, he's been there a while. He originally started his career at Rhode Island University. He threw for 385 against Urbana. Uh, his name's Luke Casey. On the season, he has nine touchdowns and almost 1,400 yards. So, you know, a, a smaller school than the level we compete at, but they have players, and they're looking to do the same thing we've been looking to do the last couple of weeks, which is go and knock off somebody that's uh, rung above you on the ladder. And, and they're a hungry team, and they do a lot of great things. Uh, they got a lot of overall team speed. They have a lot of speed. Uh, offensively, uh, they run screens as, as good as anyone. Um, so if you fall asleep on them, they'll make you pay. And uh, again, like I said, they do a lot of, of great things. Uh, defensively, they're going to come after you. Um, so we're going to have to play fundamentally sound football, and you know it's going to be a great it's going to be a great game. They're a physical team. We're a physical team, so it's going to be a, it's going to be a hard hitting game. And uh, looking forward to uh, hopefully trying to rebound and get get back in that W column. They did play a Northeast Conference team last year. Wesleyan did. The Bobcats lost at Duquesne out at Art Rooney Field 38-13 to last September. Chris, how is the mindset? A uh, couple of really tough losses. Uh, the score was not indicative of how close the Richmond game was. Last week's score was a touchdown. Uh, morale right now is, is the la going into the last non-conference game. Where's the team's morale uh, You know, from your vantage point? I think everybody's frustrated. Um, when... when you're, you're <clears throat> playing so hard, you're playing physical, you're doing everything, uh, you're laying it on the line. Sometimes, you, you know, 
things don't go your way and we're everybody's frustrated but you know we have to be able to take that frustration we can't scream about it yell about it we have to go back to work we have to look at look at ourselves we have to look in the mirror and see what we can do better and that's what we're trying to do and i think the team's up for the challenge like i said we had a, a great team meeting on sunday um told the guys you can't you can't let this linger we can't be hung over we have to move forward and uh i think the overall um morale after that meeting was a little better but you know we have to get back out here today uh, get to practicing and um, get the blood flowing again and i think we'll be okay chris thanks good luck against wesleyan as always thank you for your support thank you